So today we're going to be color matching using acrylic paints and the three things you need to remember while trying to color match is what color are you trying to achieve such as what colors make up that one goal color uh, how much of each of the primary colors are you going to need before you start um, and then also you're going to need to remember once you finish making that goal color you're going to need to make more of it because trust me you're going to need more of it when you know you start painting because that canvas will soak up some of that paint so you're going to be using a lot of that color so you want to make a little extra so to start i'm going to go over what you need you're going to need bottles of your primary colors blue red and yellow also to have on is black and white black and white are used to either lighten or darken the shade um, you're also going to need a cup of water for your paintbrush and a spray bottle to keep your paint wet. Uh, I've already got the little dollops of paint on this paper to use as a demonstration. I was going to use my painting palette, but as you can see, it's a little full at the moment. And you wouldn't really be able to tell what I'm doing. So, today's goal color is going to be this kind of orangey orangey tan color. You're going to take any desired paintbrush of choice. Mine is this little flat flat top brush. It's very small. And you're going to start with taking some some of that red paint, putting it in the middle. Make sure you got a good amount. Also take some of your yellow paint and mix it in. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more <laughs> and then also you're going to be using a whole lot of white this white is going to lighten up this color and help bring the value up so it matches this orange color a little bit better so now after you've added the red the yellow and the white, you should have the color that you're trying to get. Let me hold them side by side. Pretty close. I think mine could be a little bit darker and you can always add more red or yellow or even some black if you need, but be careful with the black because it does have green undertones. So when you add black to something with a lot of reds or yellows, it's going to turn it a little muddy, and that's not what you want, especially when you're trying to make a lighter color like this orange one. And then you're going to take this water, give it a quick spritz, and you're ready to start painting.